guys. This is Dave White. Welcome to Whitey's Wicked Workshop. This is my man cave. It's going to be all about Star Wars stuff. I have a lot of plans ready. Let's get into it. Okay, so I started out doodling on paper to see what kind of style I wanted. And there were many versions of this until I finally got the right one I wanted. I just recently read the book Every Tool's a Hammer by Adam Savage. A really good book. I recommend it. And he uses cardboard a lot. Uh, so I, I got a 36 by 72 inch piece of cardboard and I just started drawing my design on the cardboard so then it, it looked really good to me so then I cut it out and put it on some scrap wood that I had laying around uh, just to get the right size and I knew I was gonna have to build frames for the door uh, which kind of came into each other so once I did that I was able to see uh, what kind of frame I needed so then I started cutting out the uh, the outer panels uh, and that this is a chore I never want to build a door again but I guess it's kind of worth it when you look back and see what you could create with when you put your hand to paper so don't forget I had to cut out not only the frames but then for the outer parts I had to cut the inner areas off so then I spray painted everything then I started to glue the pieces together and one thing that I messed up was there is a, a slight change in how the design is so I had to make sure I mark them so that way I knew when I, I cut them how they would fit together because otherwise it would be a little off then I did get my pocket door uh, I just bought a regular pocket door for a 36 inch opening um, I put it up made sure that it was level and sturdy So since my doors were thicker than normal I had to make some adjustments to the bottom uh, Foot piece that connects to the ground. This is a shot of the pocket door Now you see all the hardware for the cylinder and assemblies. This here is the solenoid valves 12 volts DC This is an air regulator which regulates the air intake. Those are the fittings these are alignment couplers because not everything is square in the real world. They give you a little bit of play. This is a picture of the bottom part of the solenoid valve. That is where the intake comes in from the regulator. The two bottom ports are for the exhaust to come out. As you open and close, they have to release air so that way it'll allow more air to come in to make it go the other way. I originally bought uh, mufflers for it but I wanted to get the sound of the psh, so I, I didn't even install them. That picture there is the, the top part that connects to the cylinders. And if you see there, there's a red, little red button. If you push them buttons, you can manually control the solenoid valve. If you push it in and turn it with a small screwdriver, you can actually lock it on if you wanted to. There's the alignment coupler attached. This is my full setup right here. Uh, I have the cylinder with the solenoid valve. Uh, that's a regulator. Have that regulator to 50 PSI. So here's the incoming hose right here, uh, which goes to the bottom side of the solenoid. Then for each line out the top, we either open or close. So it goes to this side of the cylinder, and this one goes to that side of the cylinder. Um, on the cylinder itself, you can't see it from this side, but I ordered. A cylinder with cushions so that way when you get close to opening or close to closed it'll kind of like uh, cut off some of the air so it like starts to um, slow down uh, these are your speed settings make sure you get them um, I did get all uh, other than these I did get all metal connections I think you could get plastic ones uh, this particular model is a 12 volt version. I believe you can get 24 volts DC and 120 volts AC. So how this works is I have a sensor on both sides of the door. This is a uh, smart things, uh, motion sensor. Um, so once a person is detected uh, with the motion sensor, I have this little relay that I bought off eBay, I think for five bucks or less. So since the solenoid valve is 12 volts DC, I got a transformer here that is always, this guy is always feeding uh, the 12 volts that comes through into the normally open and the normally closed of the relay. So there's always 12 volts, uh, yeah, there's always 12 volts here, either 12 volts to open it or 12 volts to close it. 
Now, changing the relay will, will determine which way you're going, open or closed. So, when you hit the motion sensor, as you get here, it's opening up. It's turning on my, my smart switch, which gives the five volts to pick up the relay to say, hey, tell them we want to open and close. <laughs> we want to open or close. So right now it's in the closed position. I am going to pick up the motion sensor and it should swap to, to open up. Hey, somebody in the area? There we go. It's now in the open state. The relays are on. I'm going to put the motion sensor down. Smart switch is on. Smart plug, sorry. So now in a little bit here. Everything should turn once it goes to close. There we go. If you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe. Uh, I got more stuff like this coming at you. See you guys.